for what they call the 80 10 10 diet. Yep. Um, explain a little bit about that and what that means. Okay, well, the 80 10 10 diet is simply a calorie nutrient ratio, mm -hmm. a calorie nutrient ratio. What it simply entails is a diet comprised of 80% or more of your total calories coming from carbohydrates mm -hmm. and 10% or less coming from fats mm -hmm. and proteins. And when you say carbohydrates, that's not things like pasta and bread, that is no, no. fruits and vegetables. Yeah, I yeah. mean, all foods contain, all whole foods contain a, some, some amount of mm -hmm. carbohydrate, protein, and fat. Yeah. Um, you know, sweet fruits being the highest in the carbohydrate category, they are one of the biggest, the, the most consumed foods that I eat mm -hmm. to supply my carbohydrate needs. Mm -hmm. So those are simple sugars, and of course you yeah, have the pastas and uh, potatoes and stuff like that as complex carbohydrate, mm -hmm. which aren't included in the raw diet so much. Yeah. Now, the raw food world that I'm used to kind of gives this diet a bad rap. Yeah. They say too much food is bad, but I have to say ever since I've been here and being around people such as yourself that are eating this way, you know, the results speak for themselves. You yeah. guys not only look good, have really white eyes. It's, what really impressed me was the, um, the attitude that you all have and the, the fact that you're centered and you have energy. Um, because I have met some raw food people that seem a little bit unbalanced. Yeah, and, nice too. <laughs> you know, you kind of think, well, if they're eating the right you know, way, then they shouldn't be unbalanced. Mm -hmm. Should be someone that's calm, yeah. has energy, feels great. Not swinging from one side yeah, to the other like, like a trapeze yeah, act the whole time. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, I hear you. I mean, I mean, calm centeredness is definitely more than just about diet. The diet True. can hugely, hugely impact that. Yeah. If we're always in like a fight or flight, you know, starvation mode kind of regime, we're just going to be off balance, mm -hmm. and that's going to definitely you know, make it a lot harder to be centered and calm. That's right. And can you explain? Why eating this much fruit actually works? Because mm -hmm. as I said I've kind of heard, you know, she only have like one to two pieces a day and yeah. just in the morning and well you know, that's it basically, but you eat a lot of fruit. Really. I, I do eat a lot of fruit <laughs> and I mean sweet is our natural yet. Yeah. <laughs> Go bananas for sure, you know. I mean, sweet is our natural, it's our predominant taste bud. Mm -hmm. You know, mother's milk is sweet. Um, you know, any carbohydrate, if we chew it till it's partially digested in the mouth, with the amylase that's secreted in our mouth, it mm -hmm. becomes sweet, it breaks down into sweet. Um, you know, the longest nutritional studies, the, uh, you know, the largest, they all point to a high carbohydrate diet. Mm -hmm. You know, if we look to carbohydrates in the form of complex carbohydrates, we run into a number of problems. Mm -hmm. You know, nutritional deficiencies as well as uh, assimilation problems, depending if they're grains or other kinds. Um, you know, with that said, fruit, it really cuts out the middleman. It's, it's really, really simple to digest. Yeah. It's the highest in all available nutrients that we need and the proper ratio of who we need them. Mm -hmm. um, it tastes great. You know, when I look at food as a choice, I think, what food can I eat in its natural state? Yeah. It is really delicious. It's really appetizing. It's satisfying on any number of factors. Mm -hmm. I mean, fruit, it naturally hydrates you and, yeah. you know, it leaves you full and you don't want anything else. Mm -hmm. You know, when most people eat food, they they don't finish until they've had something sweet. That's right. Yeah, you know? I used to be like that. It would be quite annoying because I'd eat something really nice and then be like, oh, I have to have something sweet. And then I knew that I couldn't really have fruit afterwards because it would, you know, mix and fermenting. Yeah. yeah, it's not the best <laughs> thing. You know, I mean, most raw foodists, when they're first uh, brought into the movement, mm -hmm. you know, because ma most mainstream raw food is pretty high in fat. It's yeah. usually meant to replace other foods in its complex gourmet dishes. Yeah. And, you know, for sure, if you're eating a complex gourmet dish, you don't want to eat fruit afterwards, mm -hmm. and you might not even want to eat fruit the next day. Yeah, wow. You know, fats, it's still in there. fats so take a long, long time to digest, wow. and even longer if the food is improperly combined. You know, mm -hmm. the longer, or the, the worst combination of food has, your body really only has two options. It's mm -hmm. either to hold on to it and constipate you, yeah. or to flush it out really quick. Yep. You know, in any scenario, though, when fats absorb, absorb in the intestine, mm -hmm. you know, that can, that can start know, five, six, seven hours after you eat it, passing through your stomach and then remain in the intestine for mm -hmm. eight, ten hours, you know, so you wow, can have fat in your bloodstream for above 12 hours mm -hmm. after eating food. Um, why do you think this diet's got such a bad rap? Well, you know, I mean, realistically, when you 
when you look at it from the... used to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, the things I used to make for myself that were raw, mm -hmm. which is so high in fat, and I never lost any weight, and never felt any better, and I'm starting to realize why, and that's because yeah. I've been having such heavy food and not having the right amount of food that will go through your digestive system really quickly. Yeah. And also, um, you know, I know a lot of people that suffer with chronic fatigue and they just seem to get led to this lifestyle, but again, they're trying too many, you know, heavy things and they're having too many green smoothies. Mm. You know, again, I think that's another misconception that people think you need to have, you know, a massive amount of green smoothie every day, but yeah. I don't think that's right. You know? Well, you know, there's, there's so many people who really believe that you know, fruits are so low in minerals mm -hmm. that, you know, and greens are the super major food that minerals are like our most important nutrient that we need. We need tons and tons of minerals. Yeah. And, and then there's also the concept that, you know, when you eat raw, eventually you just don't need any calories at all. It's mm -hmm. just, just minerals. You just need tons of minerals and super green foods. Yeah. And, I mean, both of those really missed the, missed the point, mm -hmm. I think, you know, like, yeah, minerals are important, you know, just, just as important as vitamins and just as important as calories. Yeah. But if you're not getting the proper ratio of all those, you're going to end up in some symptoms of uh, deficiency mm -hmm. somewhere, and you're going to be craving, craving mass amounts.